Hello, everybody. Welcome to our latest vlog. We have a special guest. Hi. For this one, Jarrett, who normally edits the videos here on the second channel. So if you've ever wondered if you wanted to put a face behind the videos, there's the man to blame for anything you don't like. Anything you do like, that's me. Yeah. The bad stuff, that's all him. Yeah, you should see the shit that I take out of the videos. <laughs> Ooh. <laughs> When's your tell all book gonna. Your oh, expose. It's, 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 Gotta sign the up for the tea, documentary. Yeah. Gotta sign up for Twitch if you want to see the unedited stuff oh, yeah. live. So <laughs> do that. Uh, we're gonna head up to Seattle today and we're gonna go meet up with the boys in Water Parks and Heart Attack Man who are playing tonight with Black Bear. So we're gonna do that and maybe show you uh, a little bit of Seattle that we didn't show you last time. So I'll do the, the vlog hand thing. That's how you know that I'm a real vlogger, is if I do the hand thing. Every time we've done the hand thing, we never remember to, to do it again. It yeah, yeah, exactly. Yeah, yeah. So the hand thing. <laughs> you know, you gotta do it again. Do it, make sure the Faster. screen, yes, and make sure the screen goes all the way black. You gotta really suffocate oh. it. Yeah. Where is it? Oh god, we're such bad vloggers, holy shit. <laughs> it's a vlog, mom, oh, we're not bad a vlog. vloggers, <laughs> sorry. Alright, so we decided to make a little pit stop at the mall because I figured if we're gonna be hanging out with water parks and heart attack man i figured i needed to put on my best interviewer outfit which of right, course careful. means getting a blue aeropostale shirt like your man brian stars and this mall has one of the last remaining aeropostales so i thought we'd stop and see if maybe i could update my fit so we're gonna do that but first we're gonna make a stop at the food court because she's hungry i'm hungry i want some food What's your, uh, what's your favorite mispronunciation of Chipotle? Do you like Chipotle? I, I think Chipotle. 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 Oh, she knows, yeah, Chipotle, yeah, what the Chipotle, hell. You gotta, yeah. you gotta be, you gotta be a little dyslexic with it. What yeah. if you add the apostrophe S to it, like Chipotle? Chipotle? Go to, let's go down to Chipotle. Chipotle? Yeah. Yeah, yeah. What do you think about that? I think that's it. Okay, maybe yeah. that works. I think I'm gonna go to my spot, Chipotle. I don't know. Oh, God. I kind of just want to go to Panda Express. That's racist. Like, Hello. I, well, I do want to support the, the new Beyond. I, I do want to support the vegan option. Well, they have uh, vegan. They have, yeah, they have plenty of vegan options too. But yeah. that's like a new thing, the, the Beyond. Ah. It's, it's like they just started you should, that. It, you should make it your life's mission to try every single variety of Beyond chicken or Beyond meat possible. I just know that it's not going to be like. It's going to be very sweet. It's going to be gross. Be like, it's going to be like, I mean, it's going to be just as gross as their orange chicken. You take that vegan. back. <laughs> I might not. Uh, I know I want this because I know I know this is good. Well, it's like I kind of want Panda Express, but it's like way back there, and I don't want to have to walk all the way. <laughs> this is <laughs> late honest. capitalism. We're yeah, too many options. That's right. right? Ooh, good choice. Right? Good choice. I like it. Right? Yeah. Exactly. We can totally like DoorDash that shit, yeah. you know, from like across the mall. But like. Okay. Well, let's uh, let's make our choices. All right. Wait. Skip me. Skip me. Oh wait. Oh, you're doing that thing. Oh. No, I should do it now. I'll teach you how to do it right. <laughs> here's here's our mukbang. Oh, yeah, right. yeah, I guess this is a mukbang now. So what, what let's what did you get? I got um, a panda express chow mein and honey walnut shrimps. Okay, you do like the honey walnut shrimp. I do. How about you? I just got some of the, uh, the Beyond Orange Chicken. Have you had this before? I have not, and it's a very sad amount, so I bought more. You had to be a Karen. They and gave ask me this. For, <laughs> for four dollars. It's for four dollars. Yeah, this whole thing is thirteen bucks. Vegan junk food is expensive, friends. That's the lesson. Yeah, I can make this at home for like two. I got the. Um, I don't want to tip this out. I feel like that would be a, that would be sad. I got the uh, burrito bowl, ch the uh, chipotle's chicken burrito bowl. What do you rate it out of 10? Um, and before you say anything, I gotta remind everyone of our scale. We rate it- I think it everyone by this point knows the From scale, one to but... 10, with no sevens, because sevens are for fence sitters. That's a coward score. A coward is afraid to take a stand. So, what do you rate it? There's no way that Panda Express could ever get more than a six. Even on a good day. As, as a uh, former vegan influencer, still vegan, not influencer. <laughs> I, I clarify that. Um, 
This is a ten. Oh my god. I really? Get, no, no, no. I would. I, I would. I would fence it. I would give this a seven. But okay. that's off limits. So which is it? A six or an eight? Not commit. Honestly, is it good or bad? Stacked up against my expectations. Against against my expectations, I would have to say this is honestly. I want to. I want to go up to eight. Because I was thinking this was going to be really bad. Uh -huh. I thought it was going to be like way too sweet and everything, but it's like an appropriate orange orange chicken. So. Good. Yeah. Um, but, then, but, but then the paying fourteen dollars for it, it's a six. You're now going to experience in real life how slow I eat. Do you see this this little walnut? This is the increments by which I eat. This is a lie. It says your honesty will be met with gratitude tomorrow. If there's anything I've learned about working with you, <laughs> it's that being honest is never met with gratitude. That is cap. That's cap. Life's greatest privilege is being able to help someone in need. That's, I feel that. That's a nice one. I did donate to the Seattle Children's, um, <laughs> saying that they had a, a, a Panda Express and Jared wow. didn't, so. Mm, I see. Just saying. saying. Baby, I actually just this is my last my last bite. You win. <laughs> Wait. Oh, but I still have my fortune cookie though. Another five minutes to eat the fortune cookie one nibble at a time. That's right. You are not <laughs> you haven't won yet. <laughs> you haven't won yet. <laughs> Really yeah. I'm an Aries, I'm a fire sign, so yeah. I don't know what the fuck any of that shit means. But Aries is a ramp, so that's why they say that we're stubborn. I feel like I have Aries energy. Because I'm pretty stubborn. But I'm a cancer. Which is the sign that Great just email. gives in because they're so exhausted by being around <laughs> the stubborn people. Whatever you are. <laughs> All right, so here we are, and what we're looking for is a patented bright blue Ryan Stars shirt, because I just feel like, you know, if you're hanging out with the guys in the pop punk bands, you gotta do your very best to recreate, you know, the amazing days of my digital escape. Uh, I don't have the Ryan Stars hair. The shirt is the next best thing, so let's see if we can find one. What do you think? Are you seriously gonna wear this t-shirt? How much this motherfucking hair apostle shirt is? Holy shit. I, I thought mean... this was gonna be like six dollars. Okay, that's a little bit pricey for a joke. You know what? As much as I wanna recreate the glory days of Brian Starr's um, being brought to tears by Christopher Drew, I don't know if it's worth 25 bucks, so I'm sorry guys. All right, guys, I've got some good news for you. If you've been watching my streams, you've heard me talk about leather wrist cuffs, heard me talk about chunky rings, uh, which by the way, Austin from Waterparks is also a big fan of the chunky rings. If you've heard me talk about the bedazzled boot cut jeans and you said, I'm on board, where do I take, where do I start to take part in this lifestyle that you've been promoting? Let's bring it back. Well, I've got good news for you. We found it. So. You know, there's, uh, I don't know, 100 years ago, there was that extinct fish, or they thought it was extinct, the coelacanth, right? They thought it had been extinct for like 100 million years. And then some fishermen found some, and they said, actually, this thing is alive and well. Today, I'm here to present to you the butt rock equivalent of that. Buckle. And I'll show you the human equivalent of that fish right here. We've got the uh, bedazzled affliction shirt with the, you know, the frilly wing kind of graphics. You notice on the sides also, it's got the whatever, I don't even know what you call that. We've got the, the jeans here, the men's and women's affliction jeans with that thick, chunky whip stitching and the whiskering. Uh, well, what I was going to say is that these people, right? These people are the ultimate Chad and this is Chad and that's Stacy. Right there. And they yes. fuck. They fuck. They fuck. They're fucking. And they're very family oriented. You know, like they're, yep. they're down they're with. They're populating the world. Yep. They're 
drinking well, a, well, drinking a cold home. beer, watching the kids. Well, you're play. at home yeah. eating cereal for dinner and listening to Deftones. They are repopulating the world. And when the kids are old enough, then they start to wear their own. <laughs> oh, look at that! Their That's own so cute. little Got the, jeans. I, I just wish they were boot cut, though. It doesn't seem right to see to see the uh, uh, affliction skinny jeans. They got to be boot cut. That's an oxymoron. Exactly. My kids can wear boot cut jeans. That's all I know. So, what'd you guys talk about? Are we still fans in there. Yeah. Boys, makeup. Uh, Stand closer together. Boys, makeup, handbags, uh, who we're going to take to prom, you know. Austin. Yeah. He's so dreamy. Yeah. yeah. You guys sit next to each other and then, you know. <laughs> <laughs> well, Did you funny. guys wash hands it's together? Funny. Wash each other's that, hands? Yeah, yeah, just like, yeah. I feel like there's such a stigma about sitting down to pee. I'm sorry. I work hard. I spend all day earning a living. If I want to sit down to pee, just take a load off. Yeah. Is, what is so wrong with that? Yeah. And and I'm judged for that? He literally sat on the earth. It was crazy. <laughs> I'm sorry, I thought this was America. I thought I had the right to free speech. And I'm judged because I want to sit down for a minute to pee. Really? That's the world we live in now? It's just ignorant. Yeah. So turn it off. Turn it off. <laughs> Jared. Yo, Jared, Austin. Nice to, meet you. nice to meet you. Did you come with us when we we all got uh, like it was like our first tour? Ever. Yo, yes, yes. yes. Oh, yeah, that's right. Yeah, right. Totally yeah very different. Like years, years, years. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Like 2014 or something. 16. 16. 16. Our first year of touring, like ever. Oh my god, oh, really? that was the first time in Seattle. Okay. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Nice. You said you said that the phone made your heart hurt. <laughs> it was it was really good, and then we were gonna play like 30 minutes later. This is aggressive whispering. And, then, <laughs> and we're playing like 30 minutes later, so I was like, oh shit. So I was warming up backstage and I was like, oh my god, like I was like, oh my god, like my heart does not feel right. <laughs> That's like, my fault, I'm I was sorry. Like, yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, doing my warm-ups and shit. And I was just like, oh, I think I'm gonna fucking die. We sabotaged <laughs> we sabotaged their, That's right. their day. That's how I know the flow's good. Yeah. I, I just can't believe season. I'm meeting Gerard Way. Just oh, wow, yeah. Gerard Way it's Danger true. Days era. It's true. true. Nah, yeah. nah, 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 nah. <laughs> Austin, tell them about the person on the street. Oh yeah, out, outside of one of the shows in Montreal. Montreal is super weird. I mean, they're really cool. <laughs> <laughs> like outside of, uh, like we went to a Starbucks and it started getting like a little bit blown up. And so we're like, let's head back. And one person was like, Gerard. Just kept walking. Uh, <laughs> I was like, Gerard. It's like, his hair hasn't been this for like 10 years. Leave it alone. It can't be this. And uh, someone comes up and it's like, Gerard. And I was just like, yes. And, and they're like, Wait, you're not Gerard? I was like, yes, I am. <laughs> and they're like, uh, I was gonna ask for a picture. I was trying, and uh, they're like, uh, they're, well, you turned around. Like, yeah, yeah, I was like, you were yelling at me. <laughs> like, I'm pretty sure you came with. You, yeah, Ben, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. A while, Good to see you while again. Ago. Yeah, yeah. I can't come in unless you see. You never do this. No, cool. Official. Now you guys should be friends on LinkedIn after that. Yeah. Um, Jared, Lynn, Jared. Oh, awesome. Eric. Hi. Eric. <laughs> Nice to meet you. I've been going in Columbus. Everybody's got a hierarchy. Hierarchy is Columbus, no. Cleveland, <laughs> Cincinnati, everywhere else. Okay, yeah. yeah. Uh, but Cincinnati's just Kentucky. Yes. Yeah. I would say. Actually, it's worse. I would say it's worse. I would say Cleveland, Cincinnati, Columbus, I guess, than everywhere else. I think they're insane. We need practice. Yeah. Yeah. And, um, Not rehearsals. And every day I eat the same taco truck. I have a trick for high fiving, by the way. What? Look at your elbow, right? Yes. Yeah, yeah. That's the trick. But we miss because it's like, if it's like a bad take. Look how decisive that was. Oh. Listen to that. Ooh, Chris. Oh, oh, oh. That's like ASMR. I'm never gonna. Yeah. Never, never gonna. That's like sportsmanship ASMR. Yeah. That and the the elbow handshake. That's the trick. This sucks. Feels like a bad train. You say their first. Say their first name. Wait, wait. You read a lot of those books, huh? Look him in the eye and say his first name. Oh, Lucas and I were doing a thing where it was like, you just grab the wrist. Yeah, yeah. One, one, just one down and then uh -huh. brother. Oh! Brother. Uh, also this, this also works. <laughs> or, yeah. yeah, no, or that's weird. Yeah, you gotta no, do yeah. That. Yeah. that feels more like, thank you for the opportunity. Yeah. Do you, do you or, overhand? 
Over oh, here? Oh, oh, okay. Oh, okay. <laughs> no, if I'm ever. I, I prefer Here's, this. Like where they go. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Give them literally a danger. The yeah. limp hand. Yeah. Go in strong. This is like what dads you Go do. in strong and then. Yeah. yeah. Then with the limp. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> no, if I ever don't know what's coming, like I see something weird with a hand, I just hug it. So we were talking about um, rings earlier. Because, you know, I'm. I'm not a pinky ring guy, but someone gave me this a couple days ago and it's so fun. I feel like you it need your leather head. wrist yeah. cuffs. Leather wrist cuffs? Yeah. Because like when I think of like rings, I think of like yeah. the uh, spiky ones. I think of no no no. I think of like the uh, like the boot cut uh, affliction jeans with like the youth pastor necklace. That's what you think of when you think of the rings. Chunk, yeah, chunky like, rings and a leather wrist. Strap. Exactly. Yeah. You, actually, I've done I've done gloves Tommy Lee. on some yeah. of these. Finger like gloves. gloves. Well, <laughs> occasionally I snap some off, but like, like I went to a, I was trying to buy a plant before. <laughs> The last door before this one, and I saw some really dope gloves at like a gardening place. They're like neon yellow, and I was like, oh. "There's like ten dollars." Gloves for everyone. Oh, okay. <laughs> yeah, like this. Yeah. Oh, Wrong that. These are these would be great for shaking hands. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> these, are, these are great yeah. shaking hand gloves. They're solid. Ooh. Ooh. Wow. <laughs> now kiss. Yeah. And you guys are both wearing camo hats too. You guys are like twins. Oh, wow. Wow. You guys are like the Power Rangers. There should have been a purple ranger. Can we, can we, can we do, do one of these? Yeah. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Got the plan, baby. All right, we are here in the University District, uh, which is called that because we're right down the street from the University of Washington. Uh, I did not go to school here uh, because I'm not smart enough or rich enough to go to school here, but I did hang out here a lot when I was a kid. It's changed a lot since then. This is where I would go like buy records and stuff back in the early 90s. There was a whole bunch of record stores here, um, like zine stores, stuff like that. So this was like my favorite part of town when I was a kid. Uh, super different now. Uh, but I still like it. It's still probably my favorite part of town. So we're gonna go eat something here and you can see what the U, U District is like now. And um, then I'll do the, the hand I don't know. thing. Wait, 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 but as far as vegan stuff, I mean, it's a lot of Asian stuff here and they don't really understand the word vegan. So you're gonna have to be very pacific with them yeah, about we'll do, we'll do. about the vegan That's shit. Like yeah, wait, I'm gonna, I'm gonna do it. Oh, now you're doing it? <laughs> Now everyone's doing it. Now I can do it. Come on. Shout out to the BTMs. What does that stand for? Big time mob. Boom, that's mine. <laughs> Ew. I hate those names. I hate graffiti Bombing curtains. the most. Bombing the most. That's pretty good. Dude, these are all toys out here. I don't know what you're talking about. Toys. BTM? Beating <laughs> toys massively. Yeah. BTM are definitely not toys. They're, they're probably... I mean, BTM is probably like top five crews in the world, I would say. Shout out to Pink Gorilla, awesome retro game store. If you're in Seattle, or even if you just want to shop online, definitely check them out. One of the very best. You may have seen them in Metal Jesus Rocks, Metal Jesus Rocks's videos. Big fan. <laughs> it's your bar, sweetheart. He's in, uh, it looks like he's in some man like Ale Storm or whatever that would play at Vodkin. I used I got to it. go here a lot when I was a kid to buy graffiti magazines and Maximum Rock and Roll and stuff like that. Uh, it's nicer now than it used to be. They've like redone it with the cafe and all that. But, Mama, yeah. the kitchen. This is the nicest looking Vietnamese place oh, I've honey, ever honey, seen. Honey, 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 honey. Uh-oh. Warning Look, signs. At first I was excited because I didn't, oh, this is a nice trendy Vietnamese place, but then we saw excellent food safety rating uh, sorry, it's off the list. What are your feelings? See a lot of your people out here, uh, a lot of a lot of Vietnamese people out here doing things with some nice Vietnamese restaurants. Vietnamese people were you winning. Think? We're winning at life. Uh, that's not a play on words. I meant winning. W i n n i n g, not like n g u y e n. You know what you feel me? But I mean. I'm not trying to hate on people who are like trying to be entrepreneurial. But, but uh, I don't know. It's just there's just something. I can't articulate it right now. When she does but this, that's how you know she's trying to make a point. Not very well though. They're you're, saying they you're, want Olive Garden. You're supposed to understand what this means when in reality <laughs> I'm using this as like a crutch 
for my... So you know what uh, I mean? No, we don't know what you mean. Yeah, exactly. You know, you know what I mean? All right, we've got to give a shout out to Samurai Noodle. Uh, I'm no like ramen expert, but I don't know. I feel like we've had a decent amount of ramen. Nothing compares to this show. Do you notice something with our favorite uh, restaurants? Oh, yes. Yes. See? This is the sign of quality. Do you say with your tier list? C tier is actually the S tier. A tier is actually the D tier. And S tier is actually the B tier. So good is actually excellent. Excellent is okay. It needs improvement is good. Guys, I cannot find Sriracha anywhere. It has been a minute. I've, I've had, I had two bottles at home. They're both gone. Um, all the grocery stores around me, no Sriracha. Uh, even Trader Joe's is out of their Sriracha. Oh, yeah. So we're here at H Mart, the Korean store. Let's see if they have it. the noodles. Where's the migraine? I see only green noodles. Fuck. No migraine, no life. Oh, here it is. Oh, there we are. Nice. Okay, of course it has to be on like the side one that no one cares about. Racist. Can can we also point out something uh, about this store? What? That's different it's than cold as shit and uh not filthy. Clean because it's Koreans. It's a bus. That's fine. Are you sad? I've been, okay, I've been putting tapatio <laughs> on stir fry. I know that's like <laughs> blasphemy. It's blasphemy, it is. But or like, I, is I just, that like fusion? Yeah. <laughs> oh, honey, this is the brand of condensed. Oh. This is the brand of condensed milk that you gotta get if you're having uh, Vietnamese coffee. I mean, the longevity brand is also good too, but this is the, this is the real shit. I don't respect you unless you have this, this Parrot brand. brand but I milk. also, but I mean, I don't know. I mean, this one's pretty good. what about sweet cow? No, 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 no. That's, that's also different. That's about. Oh, oh, okay. But I mean, I also understand too, like if, I don't know what brand they sell at Costco, but if there's whatever brand at Costco is okay too, because you know, we, we Asians love Costco, so... The Costco counter begins whatever the, now. Whatever the cost. <laughs> Are we gonna go through any vlog without... Going to some Costco? Asian grocery store and talking about Costco? <laughs> I think that's a theme. That's what we do. Why don't we do concert vlogs? We should yeah. do like... Asian vlog, grocery stores. Grocery stores and Costco, but we need to go to Costco and do a vlog. Oh, shit. Oh, shit. <laughs> this uh, side quest will remain open in our journal for now. We'll journey on and get food. Stay strong, Jarrett. This store sells gargoyles and it's been here for 30 fucking years. Shout out to, however, look, there used to be a Starbucks across the street. Oh, that's right, I remember that. Yeah, the, the green. The gargoyle store outlasted the fucking Starbucks. Holy Shout shit, Shout out bro. to these people. They're like the cockroaches of small business. <laughs> They're <Can't>, survivors. <laughs> fucking good. Can't kill them. What's like really cool about it is you know that when they opened this shit, someone was like, really, you're gonna open a fucking gargoyle store? <laughs> and here they are. 30 years later, years later they said, later. suck my dick, bitch. Yeah. That's right. <laughs> 30 years later, they're still standing. Starbucks, down for the count. Gargoyle Sanctuary, one, Starbucks, zero. Okay, so we ended up at uh, Mama's Vietnamese Kitchen, which we said we weren't gonna do, but here we are. We're talking shit, but we're frauds. Exactly, so I got the chicken vermicelli salad. You got the bun mi, and uh, what'd you get? It's a... Uh, Chicken, it's vegan chicken, uh, fried rice. I, I feel like I'm already underwhelmed by the food, to be honest, but uh, we'll see. Yeah, we'll we see. To, we to, even though we were talking shit, we had to come here to actually see if the hype was real. We gotta support our people. Our people. Uh, I'm Vietnamese by marriage. You see the kind of shit I'd have to deal with every day? <laughs> I'm Vietnamese by marriage, that's how it works, right? Eight. Eight out of ten? Yeah. Okay. Would you recommend to a friend? Oh, yeah. Okay. And uh, I would rate it a six because this is not grilled chicken, which is what it should be. It says ganoon. Oh, grilled chicken. Yeah. This is just ga. This is like... No, that's tit ga. Tit ga. Let's go ahead and use this opportunity to give a little Vietnamese lesson for the supposed Vietnamese person here. Our people. So, like Finn was saying, grilled chicken is ganoon. 
However, when he says that it's just ga, you wouldn't just say that because you have to use a qualifier term to, to refer to chicken in its, in its various forms. Like if you were to refer to a grazing live chicken, you would say gong ga. Meanwhile, if you were referring to chicken meat, you would say to ga. So, uh, thanks for listening to my TED Talk. What would you rate your fun meat? Um, I'd rate it about a six. We said that an excellent food safety rating it's sus, and it means the food is probably mediocre, and in this case, it proved to be true. It's 9.06 p.m. That's a late night for us because and our that's cat is whining at us how old we and cool we are. Her. And she's very upset with us. She wants us to feed her, so. And me too, but I'm just yeah. kidding. <laughs> so we're going to do that. Thank you for joining us for this vlog, and we will see you next time. Mm -hmm.